<laughs> okay, so we will go through our answers here. So the hypotheses, our null hypothesis is mu1 equal to mu2 or mu1 minus mu2 equal to 0. And then the alternative, mu1 minus mu2 not equal to 0, okay? Because here again, we just said different, so we're going to use not equal to. Um, if I said, is the average weight of cats greater than the average weight of Yorkshire Terriers, then we would do something different here, okay? All right, so as a hypothesis, let's find our standard error so we can find our test statistic. Standard error will be 1.1 squared over 15 plus 1.0 squared over 15. So let's do that. We got 0 0.384. Sorry, what did I say? <laughs> 0.384. Three, wait, three, yeah, 384, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and my test statistic, T is going to be the observed difference, 9 minus 7, over my standard error, 0.384. Okay, so I'm going to just do 2, or 9 minus 7. I can do that in my head, no problem. <laughs> I get 5.21. Okay, so that is my test statistic. Okay, and we look this up in our t table, and uh, oh, I should say my degrees of freedom is going to be 15 plus 15 minus 2, so I have 28 degrees of freedom, and, uh, and we'll just draw a little picture here. So I'm at zero, and I'm all the way out at 5.21. So 28 degrees of freedom, 5.21 is beyond the last number, 3.674. So I conclude that my area is less than 0 0.0005, okay? Because 5.21 is beyond 3.674, okay? Um, again, I have a not equal sign, so technically I also have to look at negative 5.21. So my p value, total p value, is going to be 2 times my tail area. So my p value, whatever it is, is less than 0 0.001. 2 times 0 0.005. Okay, so my p-value is less than 1 in 1,000. So if I take two random samples of, of animals and they have, and if those, the respective populations have the same mean, what's the probability that I would get a sample where one has a mean of 7 and the other has a mean of 9? The probability of that happening by random chance is less than 1 in 1,000. So my conclusion is reject the null hypothesis, okay? We have evidence that the population mean weights are different. And specifically, we have evidence that the average weight of cats is greater than the average weight of Yorkshire Terriers. Okay. And there you have it. So we'll see. Save that there. Okay, we'll uh, 